Hi everybody, it's Leslie and I am here to show you um, a junk journal that I'm putting together and this is not completely put together here yet but I just wanted to kind of show this to you first before I get into the rest of it. Um, i trying to keep this in frame here. Sorry, apologize if it's not. This started out as a gift bag. Um, I watched a tutorial by Shannon Green and I'll put the link below um, at the end um, in the description. But anyway, it was a paper bag that got cut apart and um, it's kind of been glued so it's hard to kind of cut it down a little bit so it was a gift bag kind of, you know, like this. That you can see that. Wait a minute here. It's a gift bag like this. So, you know, here was the opening. The sides got cut and folded down. Um, the back part I ended up cutting because I wanted to, I wanted to overlap it. So it got cut. And then what I ended up doing is laying a piece of cardboard down in here just to give it a little bit more sturdiness and um, kind of messed up on the back part on the so I decided it's gonna be my it's gonna be my bottom piece and this is gonna be my top piece and the whole reason for doing this journal number one is because I wanted to um, number two is I want to use up stuff that I have on hand I am not purchasing anything for this journal Everything that I'm using is something that I already have on hand here in my craft room. I have an abundance of scrapbook paper. I have an abundance of vintage scrapbook paper. I don't know if you can see this. I'll bring it up. But this is from the Prima collection. Um, and I thought it would make a beautiful cover. Number one, it's a sturdy paper. And I just love it. Um, so anyway, I did that and then I also covered the inside to finish it off on there. And of course it goes over to the other side here. You can see that. So anyway, when this is all done, these two pieces will fit together like this. And I'll probably use my Fabri-Tac to, um, glue it together, the spine, because I'm going to sew my signatures in on the bottom. You can see I've already put my lines in here. I've actually already poked my holes in here because I'm going to do a pamphlet stitch <clears throat> on that. But so that's that part. And yes, I did um, distress the edges on this. And I used, what did I use? I used, you can see that. I don't know. I'll try. Anyway, it's um, birch bark and it's the Prima Chuck edgers. I love these edgers. They last forever. This one is crumbling. It still works. So use it until you can't use it anymore. Love it. And... Um, I'll give a description of the different papers that I used. I'll list the different papers that I used and whatever products I can remember that I used. Um, I did uh, glue down the papers. Well, first I glued down the bag. I cut the bag apart and glued it to the, some, um, just some old cardboard that I had in my stash. Um, and I glued it down with my Golden's Gel Medium because I really wanted a good stick. Um, I could have used my um, I could have used my Fabri-Tac, but I'm going to use that to um, on the ends to to get that done. Oh, I'm dropping stuff everywhere. So there's that, and these will be ready. Now the next thing I did is I put my signatures started working on these. Now this is watercolor paper. Why did I use watercolor paper? Because I have a lot of it and I want to use it up. 
One thing important in pencil, you can barely see it, is a little T that means top. In other words, this is the top, and this, number, this is the top page, and this is the top of the, um, where the, it would go. So whether you were laying it first or second, as a, I'm putting two signatures in here. So whether it was the first or the second, this is the top. Kind of important to know. All right, let me put, let me put these aside. Now, um, what I've done is I've made a template, and I marked my lines on this template. Let's see if I can bring this in further for you to see it. All right, what I've done is I measured the template first by how long my um, my covers are. My cover is eight inches apart, so I cut out a piece of um, just computer paper, um, eight inches by four inches, because I wanted plenty of room. Put this, in. well, no, I didn't do that. I did this first, and I kind of centered this signature on the template so I knew about how much space I wanted on each side of my book. You know, kind of like that. And then I kind of found the center point of this part, the signature, because I want my signature, the center point, to be at the center point of the book. So I just kind of lined this up and just kind of figured out where I wanted it to be. Found the center point, did, I don't know, maybe a half inch here and maybe about a half inch here. Marked it, put some holes in it, and I already did the first signature that's going to go on the bottom. So now I'm going to do the second signature. I'm going to poke my holes in that. I use this. I learned this from Shannon Green. I'm going to bring her up a lot tonight because she's really kind of important to me on how I learned how to junk journal. So I'm going to put this in here. Now, in these pages, before I go through, this isn't just water paper. I've taken junk mail that's come in. I've added that too. See, so there's, there's junk in here besides just watercolor paper. And I've already lined them up because I want to make sure I can catch at least two of them, you know, in two of the holes. So there's junk in here. So I'm upcycling, recycling, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to stick that there. Now, always remember to label this the top. This is labeled the top so I know that this is exactly where. Now I also labeled, drew a line where I wanted the top to line up completely together like that. I'm going to kind of fold this a little bit and I'm going to stick it down inside this telephone book. Now mind you, my edges are all pretty straight. And then I'm going to take my pokey tool, here it is, sorry, and I'm just going to stick it in here and pull it out and down again and pull it out and down again and pull it out. And now I have my holes all lined up and they match the holes that I poked in here. Kind of hard to see it, but there's holes poked and they match because I used the same template and I used to make sure it was the top. So these are all poked. You see it comes through here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the holes that I poked. And I can put my phone book away for now. Throw it on the floor. 
So now what I want to do, I know that I want this to be the top page, the top signature. And I know I want this one to be the bottom signature because when they go together, they'll both have a full page on the top, full page on the bottom. But I'm going to do the bottom signature first. So if you give me just a second, I'm going to get my thread and my needle and we're going to start sewing. So hold on one moment. Okay, I've loaded my thread up here and it's like a waxed linen thread. Kind of came on a spool like this. Um, a friend gave it to me. I need to get some more. I need to find out where to get it. I think Hobby Lobby. But anyway, um, and the amount of thread you need to use, I kind of did, you know, a one, a two, and a smidge to grow on. Plus, I have a tail here. And what we're going to do is a pamphlet stitch, which means I'm going to start in the middle. And I'm just going to bring that through. Look at that. And then, ah, oh, wrong one. Here we go. And it's going to go through the middle hole here on this. And I broke my needle. Seriously? Okay, time out. Got to get a new needle. Be right back. Okay, let's try this again. I have a new needle. And, uh, you know, shy as it happens. Um, all right, I'm going to put this new needle through. Pulling my thread and I want to leave a tail and if you want to just to kind of secure it I'm just going to grab some scotch tape here real quick and I'm just going to tape that puppy down for right now all right now and then I'm going to bring this through the bottom middle of the spine and pull. All right, now tape, you're supposed to hold that. And then I'm going to go in the bottom hole on the top, on the top side of it. Sorry, trying to keep it in frame, guys. Now, the nice thing is the way I have this spine set up, you won't see this part. It'll be a finished. It'll be finished. You won't see it. Okay, now I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to come through up here. Well, first of all, my tape is not holding my tail, and I need a little bit of a tail here. What if I just did that? Why that didn't hold? I just took it this way. This way. And sometimes they find you might have to go through, you know, a couple of pieces at a time. Because it is watercolor paper. Let's get it up in frame here. There's my hole. And there's 
rest of my homes. And there's my home. And there's my home. There's my home. Okay, so I'm going to pull this through. Trust me, this isn't rocket science, and it's not as complicated as it looks. It's just that it's very late at night. So I'm going to wiggle this through. There we go. sure that that's good and tight. Good and tight there. Good and tight there. Right now I'm going to bring this all the way across. I'm really sorry guys. I do not mean to not be in frame. Right now, give it a little tug. So I know it's a, it's all set there. And now I'm going to go through the bottom. And then I'm going to go through the bottom of my book. The cover, I should say. Maybe I should go through the bottom before I go through the... Of course, I'm going to... We can tighten that all up. No worries. All right, now I'm going to go through the bind, the back part of the book. Jeez Louise. Okay. So I've got that pulled, and I've got that pulled, and we're pretty tight. We're pretty tight. All right, I'm going to close that for a second. I'm going to hold my middle. All right now, I'm going to come back through. I'm going to try to be real careful not to split the thread. Takes a little bit of elbow grease. Oh, that's way off. Let's try it again. Hey, you know, need little air holes in there anyway, right? Won't hurt anything. Heavens, heavens, come on. There we go. Sometimes 
time machine. I almost have to kind of go page by page. They get that last one through. <clears throat> Come on, Mama, come on through there. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Ooh, nope, a little high. Not that it really matters too much, but I like to get it as close to the hole as possible. We go. There we go. Got it. Whew. All right, now we're going to tighten things up a little bit. This is going to be my first. This is actually the bottom signature in this. So then what I'm going to do Gosh, i got to remember to stay in frame. My camera is kind of wonky. I'm just going to kind of bring that underneath there like that. And I'm going to tie this off. And because it's a waxy thread, it just really kind of needs to. That should stay pretty good. And then I'm going to clip these babies off. And this thread here is really not wasted because it'll be great on top of a tag. Pull that off. I'll lay those down. It's my top, the bottom, back. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sew in our segments. The uh, second signature here, which will be our top signature, and I'll come back as soon as I'm done with that. All right, I've got my seg second signature. Man, I cannot talk today. I have my second signature sewn in here. Let's see. All right, anyway, um, here's the two signatures. One, two, sewn in here. And there's a gap here, and I don't know, maybe later on I'll add another signature. But for right now, I don't know how thick this is going to get. So um, you can see on the back, let me pull it up here. There's my stitches. One, two, three holes. Can you see that one? I turn it this way, you can probably see it. One, two, three. It's a pamphlet stitch. But that's all done. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my cover on, the top cover, and then let that dry. And then we can do more to the book. So let's go ahead and get that. Ah, my lid's sticking to me. Let's go ahead and get this glued on and clamp down. And I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac because it's fabulous glue and it just, uh, if I can get it to come out, geez Louise, this will hold anything down.
boy, with two spot with those two thick cardboard things, I may not be adding a third signature, which is fine. All right, let's see here. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Clip these babies. All right, so this is the bottom. Much like how that tore. Lovely. That's all right. I can't, I'm not sure I like it or not. I may have to fix that. And also learning when I, um, when this dried and I opened it up, look what happened. It split. So I'm debating whether I'm going to put washi tape there to, um, reinforce that a little bit, or do I just want to put, um, some ink and uh, distress ink and kind of fix it. I don't know. I haven't decided. But all right, I'm going to let this dry and then we will come back and attach our envelopes. Hi, welcome back. It's been a couple hours and uh, I've had this nice heavy book sitting on my book to add some weight to let that spine dry. You know, what can I say? All right, so let's take this off. My goodness, I've got a pile of crap going here. This is pretty dry. Um, like I said, it's been a couple hours. Take this off. Woo! See, pretty good. I'm telling you, that Fabri-Tac is magic. Magic glue. I should call it magic glue. I'm going to put these back on just um, because I can. Um, the next thing we're going to do with this book, I got to make sure. Nope, that's the back. Here's the front. All right. That's kind of cool the way that lays. Look at that. It's like a two step, like a little tabby thing. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about that. Maybe I can do something with that. Look at that. That's cool. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Doesn't take much to make me happy. <laughs> All right. The next thing we're going to do, or actually, yeah, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply envelopes to make pockets. Oh, not that one. Yeah, like that. And I'm going to line them up there and then I'll cut them down. Um, so that'll be a surprise pocket in there. Ta-da! Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those on. I'm going to reinforce all my seams with masking tape. Um, and then what I'm going to do Next up is I'm going to gesso my pages. Um, this is homemade gesso. Uh, the recipe for it you can find on my blog um, at scrappinglifeaway at blogspot.com. It's on there. Um, I'm almost out of it, actually, so I hope this lasts at least for this project. Um, and then I'll have to make some more. And uh, a lot of people ask me about it, so maybe I'll videotape the next time I make it. Um, like I said, the recipe is on my blog, but maybe I'll just videotape it. That way um, you can watch it, and then you'll have it both places, on YouTube and on my blog. But anyway, so I'm going to do, do all that. And I'm not going to bore you. Um, 
with you watching me do that, um, I may either just um, speed up the process or, um, you know, on the video, or I may just cut it out all together and then let you see it after I've done all that. But actually, I do want to see you. Well, I do want to see you. I do want you to see me um, tape this on. It's something I watched um, Donna, Donna Downey do, and it's a fabulous idea. It's where she goes in and she actually tapes right here, and and then she'll gesso over all of that. And what it does is it allow it does not allow seepage um, of any mediums that you're using to sneak through onto your other pages. How cool is that? Who to thought? Who to thunk it? But anyway, I mean, that's one of the great things about watching YouTube videos is you just learn so much from other people. So shout out to Donna Downey for that. And uh, I think it's a great idea. Um, anyway, so let me get started and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and attach a few of these envelopes so that um, if you've never attached one before, you'll be able to see how I did it so that if you would like to do it yourself, you'll know how. Um, all right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to start with my tape ATG tape gun here. Start by, well, I've got envelopes flying out at me anywhere, everywhere. I've already laid them out. So I have a pretty good idea of where I want to go, where I want them to go. That one evidently is going to be a surprise. All right, so I'm going to line this up on my corner like so. Bring that down, and there you go. And what I'll do is after I get all of these attached, I'm going to go through and trim these and, um, yeah, trim these off. And then I'll glue the end shut there. But, yeah, so I'm just going to go through and start um, gluing these down. And um, I will catch you on the flip side. Okay, I've got my envelopes in. And we'll do a quick look through here. I taped them. Well, I can't tell this one because it's double. It's a double. But I also made sure I ran some tape along the side here. But I mean, that's going to be covered with paper. But um, so it just kind of flips like that. Like that and like that. And like I said, I went through and trimmed them all uh, and then glued the edges. We put that down. Cool. Look at that. It's a, it's a twofer. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here. Maybe just some journaling tags or maybe just some notes to myself. Some positive affirmations. Sorry about that. That's it. So far, I've got all, we're making progress. So you don't have to put as many, um, put as many or as, you know, or as few as you want in here. Um, I'm also going to be adding, adding some um, little journal, journaling spots on the, some of the pages that don't have the fold outs. So, um, 
just a lot of stuff. I mean, all this stuff would be in a landfill or my fire pit, but, um, you know, so, I mean, I'm, I'm recycling. I'm using, I'm using stuff that would normally be thrown out and combining it with, um, my stash and using my stash up because I've got a lot of it. So might as well make use of it and do what I love. And that's playing with paper and craft and mixed media. So, okay. So all I have left to do now is to tape the inside here on my pages to add some strength to them and keep anything from, um, any media mediums from, um, seeping through to the other sides or to the other pages. So that's my next step. All right. I started taping, um, the inside pages of my journal. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do here yet. I may do some ribbon or maybe some washi tape. Not sure, but a little over halfway done the first signature. So just to kind of show you how I did it. It's not really rocket science, but and just so I can get a good fit. So I'm a little OCD that way. It's kind of folded it in half a little bit this way. Set it right there on the on the crease. that end off. Put that. Put that end off. And so on. So that's um, how I'm doing the pages and I'll put another one along here. And then when I'm done taping um, all these seams, I will go ahead and just on my pages. Uh, so I will be back. Okay, I'm back. I have finished taping all of the pages um, in my journal. And I have also um, went ahead and just out all the pages so that they are primed and ready for whatever medium I should decide to put on it. Um, on the pages. So I'm just going to give you a quick glance at it. Here it all is. Everything's gessoed. Um, you can still see through it, the gesso, but gesso is that way, unless you, you know, add a, a dark pigment to it. Um, but these are all ready to go. They're all ready for me to either add paper, paint, ink, stamping, whatever it is I want to add to it, um, it's ready to go. So I think I'm going to make this a process video of the, in, the entire book. Um, it's not going to be done in, you know, one video. I think it's going to be, uh, like a series. Um, like I said, this is going to be a book, um, of positive af affirmations for myself. Just, you know, when I'm feeling kind of down or kind of feeling like my, my work doesn't count or I don't count, whatever. Um, I can look back on this and say, Hey, you know what? You do count. And the only person that really needs to, um, like your art is you. Um, and that's what this, um, that's what this, uh, junk journal is going to be about for me. And I think I'm going to name it, um, imperfect perfections or something like that. And I think I'll do, um, a separate video on the cover. Um, cause I'm thinking I'm going to do a tissue on top of this. Um, even though I've already distressed the edges, doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. That's, you know, that's the joy of mixed media is that there's no rules and you can do whatever you want, however you like it. If you don't like it, just sew over it and do something else. Um, so that's my plan, but 
imperfect perfections. And uh, plus, I think when I do the tissue tape, it'll hide this a little bit, or not tissue tape, a tissue um, with uh, some glaze and some paint. And um, so that's that's the that's the book, the start of it. So you got to see me create it. Um, and then you will get to see me finish it um, as we do, as you walk with me through the process of completing these pages. Um, I think that's really kind of exciting. So I hope you join me on this journey and I hope you enjoy the process. And uh, I hope it inspires you to grab some junk out of your mail and out of your craft room. Um, use your stash use what you have and um, make something beautiful for yourself. And I think the next video I'm going to do is just so because I used it all. I finished up my bottle and I've had a lot of um, friends ask me, um, how do you make that? So that's going to be my next video. But anyway, um, Thanks for joining me, and I hope you join me on this on this journey to get this book finished. I don't know how long it's going to take. I do work full time, and I watch my two granddaughters when I get home from work, so my time is limited. But I always like to make best best use of my time by playing in my craft room, and I need to start videotaping that a lot because um, I want to share it with you. So. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a great day and I hope you leave here a little bit inspired. Have a great day, y'all.